now we are going to wire our ramps board. Before we begin the next step, for safety reasons, please make sure you have not plugged your power cable into an outlet. Now referencing the wiring diagram, we're going to connect the X, Y, and Z stepper motors and sensors. For referencing with the wiring diagram, your X motor is in your front left, your Y motor is in your front right, and your Z motor is on the back. First thing we're going to plug in is our stepper motor, our X stepper motor wire. These four pins are used to plug in your X stepper motor. You want to be sure your cable plug blue wire is pointing towards the USB side. Snugly fit it in. Now your X axis end stop wire is going to plug in to your second set of pins, second set of the two top pins here. This is how it should look. Our next stepper motor, again referencing the blue wire being on the side with the USB, will plug in to the next set of four pins. Our end stop wire will plug in two sets down from the X wire. When you have completed this step, this is how it should look. Our next stepper motor, again referencing that your blue wire is towards the USB plug, you're going to plug it into the bottom set of these two four pin connectors and your end stop is going to plug in two sets down as well. And this is how it will look when you're done. Now we're going to plug in our wires for our thermistor and you're going to utilize the row of pins that are two above your Z axis motor plug. This is what it should look like. Your heating bed thermistor will plug into the two pins adjacent to your extruder thermistor. Now we have our stepper motor cable for our extruder. We're going to plug that in to the four pins on the top here. This is how it should look. Now we're going to wire in our heater bed power wire. We're going to utilize these bottom two connectors. Be sure to screw them in firmly. Next, we're going to wire our power cables for our hot end. We're going to utilize these top two connectors for this connection. Again, be sure you screw them in firmly. This is what it should look like after this step. Now we're going to connect our two power supply wires. First we'll connect our 5 volt which connects to the negative and positive on the bottom. Negative wire here, positive wire here. Be sure to firmly attach the screw. Now for the 11 amp cable Negative on the bottom, positive on top. Now we're going to connect our controller board for the LCD panel. On the bottom of the board you have an 8 pin connector and a long strip of pins connector. On the top side you have two big pin connectors. You're going to line them up 
with the pin, same pin alignment that you have on the back side of your ramps board. Carefully line it up, making sure all your pins are inserted straight and then with a firm downward even push your board is connected. Now you want to plug in your two cables. Both of your cables are going to have a notch. That notch needs to be aligned with the hole that is on the side of your connector on your board. Make sure it's straight and apply firm pressure and evenly push it in. And it will look like this. In this view, we're looking at the underside of the LCD. Now we're going to take the top ribbon cable and we're going to plug it in to the plug that's furthest away from your SD card slot. Your other cable, which is your bottom cable, will be plugged in to the slot closest to the SD card. And this is what your ramp board should look like once it's completely wired.